All right, hello everybody. This is the bus driver and I'm here to take you to school. Welcome to the start of our new NHL 18 franchise mode. The game just released about four minutes ago and we are ready and raring to go. So I held a poll on Twitter there. You guys were allowed to vote. I said I want an Eastern Conference team. The final four I went with were the Buffalo Sabres, the Florida Panthers, the Columbus Blue Jackets, and the New York Islanders. Um, we, uh, if we uh, break it down here, we had seven votes, and the winner is the Columbus Blue Jackets. So we're gonna go here to Columbus. Uh, we're gonna take a look at. We're gonna have Bob Brovsky here. We're gonna have Panarin back from our call, our, our Chicago GM mode, and. Uh, Hopefully we're going to have some team here that we can do well into the future. Um, but uh, that is who won. Uh, we would like to continue. Uh, no, we won't customize the team. They're on their own. Good. Um, we will do an owner mode. That's fine. Cap on. Firing. Yes. Yes. Um, no auto. Do Lions Kate. We'll leave the rest there. Uh, we can turn off anything we don't like later on. Um, we'll leave that all there, and let's start our career. Keep salary cap on. And with the Lake Erie Monsters, that's our AHL team. That's, uh... Let's see here, Lake. How do you spell Erie? E-R-I-E? -E? Yeah. I forgot, uh... What they're called here. Uh, there we go. Here we, there we go. Franchise tab. So this is all new screens. I haven't even looked at this at all. Uh, let's you play games and stats. So this all looks new. Or a little different uh, layout. I like that. Much happier here. Shows your best player. Shows your standings a little more in depth. Better schedule there. Franchise overview, that's nice to see too in the corner. All right. Calendar's there. We can always go back to the calendar. I like that as well. So, this is just going to be a review of the team. Ooh, interesting. So, you have a trade improved one now. Oh, I like this idea. View draft. Oh, my lord. Look at the things they've done. Oh, I'm so excited here. So, today's going to be, or this episode's going to be a team review. And then we'll quickly get out a first start episode here after that. So, let me just uh, take a look here. Um, man, these new... You know what? Let's see here. Owner goals. Let's start with this. What's the goals for the season? 29 sellouts. Win home opener. Concession needs an upgrade. Easy enough. Done. 100%. Uh, let's see. The nationwide arena. Yeah, they even tell us the arena name. That's what we need. So, let's... Let's do our marketing budget first here. We're going to bring this right down. We're going to pump this baby up. Pump this baby up. There we go. Uh, save budget. I'm liking these screens. I'm liking it. Just a little bit of delay here in between. But um, I'm sure that will start uh, getting better later on. So let's lower these promotions. Increase that arena budget. That's a huge one for us. And you know what? We'll, we'll lower our advertising there a little bit too because we need to get our arena up to snuff as we did in NHL 17. All right. Let's uh, upgrade and maintain here. This should be nice and easy. Uh, owner goal requirement. Upgrading. Done. Easy. Anything else? Oh, everything's pretty darn good here. We can leave that. Let's go ahead and build... The parking lot, five levels, done, right off the bat. Get those people to the games, that's what you need. Perfect. I think that's everything we needed here. I like that, it even tells you there's something to watch out for. So first off, let's look at... I'm going to have to look at everything here. Let's look at our contracts first. Where are we sitting? Um, this is going to be our main way of telling how our team looks. You know what, I should probably do it from the roster look, but this is a fine place too. Players. Oh, and you can send extensions now? Nice. Interesting. Okay, so let's start with 
Oh my lord, this is so cool. They changed it up. Okay, let's start with our goalies. That's how I like it. So we have Exact Elite, Sergei Bobrovsky, 89, ov 89 overall. Um, remember, they knocked all the overalls down to try to make it so the best players are the best. So we got Bobrovsky here, 28 years of age. Um, he will be 30 at the end of his contract. But we also have uh, Jonas Corpisalo, medium elite backup goalie here. He's 23, two years on his rookie contract, then he's an RFA. So most likely Corpisalo will be taken over here in two years. Um, he's a backup right now, but if he grows like he does in 17, he'll be a 90 overall in no time, or a 90 overall in 17, so maybe a 89 in this one. In the system, we've got uh, Merz Lincolns. Uh, not much there, just a fringe starter. That's not too bad. All right, let's start with defensemen next. Lacking here defensively, we've got Zach Wierenski. Uh, medium elite, 20 years of age. Two years left on that contract. That's good. Seth Jones is actually only an 84 medium elite. 22 years of age, though. And um, he's locked here. One, two, three, four, five. Five more years. Um, but uh, he's got some growing to do. Then also Ryan Murray. So what a killer defensive core we've got here. Um, he's 23 years of age. He's locked up for one more year before he needs his next contract. And he's eligible for an extension there. Actually, yeah. So that's that's good to know. Um, after that, Dennis Savard's an 84. So we're going to have some decisions to make here. Who's on the first line? Who's on the second? Top four. Top four. Okay, top four as well. All right. We've got a couple first rounders here. 2012, 2013, and 2015. All of them uh, medium elites there. Uh, Jack Johnson we still have. And then a couple depth guys here. And let's see in our system here. Uh, no one else. So our main guys here are already in the in the league, and they're just a couple years from being the best. It can be Cam Atkinson, Nick Felino, our best right wingers here. Got some cap in these guys who are you know they're low 80 or medium 80s, but that is considered good in this game now. So that's not the worst. Uh, York Strand, we're gonna want to grow. And uh, who's in the system here? Not much. A couple bottom sixes. At the left wing side, uh, Panarin, that big trade they did. He's got one more year of growth here at 86 overall. Boone Jenner, 24, two more years of growth. And Sonny Milano, uh, he's a hit or miss growing guy. He's a low top six, so who knows. Um, other than that, Tyler Mott, that was part of that trade from the uh, Blackhawks. I think the main one we're going to watch for here is Paul Bittner and uh, Abramov. They're probably the ones uh, most likely to make the team in the future. And then center-wise, we got uh, Wenberg, our medium elite, 84 overall. So that's not the best, but uh, it's a start. Um, other than that, we do have P uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois, uh, low elite. He was, what, last year's, last year's first rounder? Yeah, two years ago, sorry. So he's down there in Lake Erie. Um, but he's made our only real prospect not on the team already. So that's uh, something we got to keep keep uh, in mind. Is that we are we're a young team, but we're getting to that point where we should start winning games here. We've got maybe two years before these guys max out their overalls, and that's when we need to see them start winning. So let's uh, take a quick peek here at... Um, roster moves. Make sure our rosters are how we want and see what holes we need to fill. So, goalies, no holes. As long as Corpus Allo is a backup, which he is, uh, we're going to leave him there. Defensively, uh, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like. So that's five, two, four, five. Uh, that's a depth. So we could use a top six here. We'll send these two down. Definitely use a top six. No one here is a top six. Um, Nudva might be our top sky medium top six. Yeah, he could grow. So we'll be looking for a top six D man. Right wingers. I'm okay with that. York Strand is ready to be a third liner. So it looks like high 70s might be third liners, fourth liners now. Interesting. Okay. Other than that, no one's ready to go. Left wingers. Um, we're going to send Sonny Milano down. Oh, we can't yet. There we go. We'll take Tyler Mott, send Sonny Milano down. He's not ready quite yet. 
No, I don't think so. And then over here... Okay, we could use a depth center. So, we could use one defenseman, uh, one center, and then two depth guys. Okay, best lines for now. One center, one defenseman, and uh, a couple depth guys. So, let's start with... Actually, let's make sure our scouting here is good. Um, we always like looking here in the W first. In the W... That's good. I think I can look at the draft class, actually, which is kind of a cool... Yeah, there's a cool feature. That's new. Um, ooh, and we can add players right there. So let's see this draft class. class. What are we looking at? Um, I don't know much about it, to be honest. None of these names ring a bell. Grulks I've seen before. That's, is there a way to add him to our... Pin to watch this. There you go. Let's pin Grulks. If it'll crash it first. Alright, so Grulks, there's someone I'd like to see. Interesting. And maybe I could just go through. I've heard that there's a different, there's, you know, some low elites or low, uh, low overall elites in the later rounds. And, um, and, uh, what was I going to say? And the, the, you know, those ones that don't have the potential but are more NHL ready or first overalls kind of, or first rounders um, and that kind of thing. So I heard I heard they played around with that. I'm excited to see how that turns out. You never know, but uh, I got some high hopes for that. Let's uh, take a look here at free agents first. We need a defense, a defenseman, a center, and then a couple. And you know what? We might just pick up Yammer Yager here. How much money do we have? We have 10 million cap space. I got no... No problem picking up uh, Yammer Yager, second round or second liner, uh, Sorella. There is a uh, at 20 years of age. I think he's worth picking up here. And actually, you know what? It sorts not just by potential, but like if you're exact as well. So that's interesting. Let's offer you a contract here, uh, Sorella. Nice to have uh, you there. Other than that, Suomela, we could offer one. I'm not too interested. You know what? Picking up Jerome Ginla wouldn't be the worst either as a third liner. Um, okay, let's go to goalies. Is there any goalies worth picking up? Probably not. Uh, fringe starter. That's not the best for us. A low backup. Okay. Um, ooh, at uh, yeah, a couple of medium backups who are close to being too old so there's a 43 year old Gerber geez Gerber's still in this game I didn't know that Martin Gerber man I did not know he was still in this game <laughs> wow okay Nicholas Backstrom still in the game okay interesting marketing still in the game okay that's interesting who would have thought uh do I want to pick up any goalie though you know what? Taking a risk here in Witzman is not the worst. Yeah, let's do that. There you go, Witzman. Uh, now let's go back to skaters. So, um, we need some, like I said, we need a center. Is that a Liney? Is that a related? Miko Liney? I bet you he is related. 27? I wouldn't doubt it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Yammer Yager a deal here at 2.6 million. That's an easy, easy deal. One year, uh, you know, we'll give you three mil, buddy. If it's only a one year deal, done. For a second liner, 83 overall. Uh, other than that, we do want a centerman and a defenseman. So, uh, Fitter Tootin's not the worst, Dennis Weidman's not bad. I don't mind picking up uh, James Wisniewski. Wasn't he used to be a... Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure he used to be a uh, Columbus Blue Jacket, Wisniewski. But uh, if we're going to pick someone up, I wouldn't mind picking up Dennis Weidman. 2 AD. Kind of looks like sometimes these guys just fake half the stats and just average them out. Alright, yeah, let's give... Uh, Dennis Weidman here a deal for one year. He can be our 
sixth man there. Um, actually, you know, I didn't take his handedness. He's a righty. Usually we need righties. I don't know what else we need. And you know what? For depth, I'm willing to pick up Jerome McGinley. One year, uh, 1.5 mil is fine by me. Then we needed a center mint. So that's our two depth, the defenseman. We need a center mint. So let's uh, take a look here. Martinson, Marcel Gawk. Steve Reinprack still in the game? I, I, fuck, I'd pick up Steve Reinprack. What's he been doing lately? He was in the AHL, he had 43 points. Okay, I'll almost pick up Steve Reinprack, bring in that, uh, that depth. Uh, Peter Mueller. Keith Coin, not Keith Coin. uh, yeah, it is Keith Coin. huh, interesting. There's some names I've not seen in a long time in this game. That's amazing. <laughs> Funny stuff. So let's go with uh, uh, Marcel Goff. You know what? Bobby Shrimp. He used to be. He was gonna be a star for Edmonton. Then he just dropped off. You know what? Let's pick up Shrimp. He was gonna be a star over there in Edmonton, and then just fell off the face of the planet. So let's do that, and then let's take a look at our trade block, and that's probably where we'll end it here. Is um is so that way you guys can give me your opinions, you know? Uh, anyone else we should be picking up? Anyone else uh, we should be trading for? Uh, what else is there? Uh, any roster moves? Do you think uh, do you think we should be moving our young guys back down to the AHL? Probably not. They're all ready to go. I'm really excited to see how our defense grows. We might have one of the scariest defenses in two years. I'm guessing in two years by the time these guys are hitting 26 will be the scariest defense in the league. Plenty of uh, trade potential there, so that's a good sign. Uh, Panarin's our main forward of the future. Uh, other than that, not much uh, players here to be uh, too excited for. Uh, we're going to put uh, Benoit on there. We're going to put... Uh, Brandon Dubinsky on there, and you know what, Jack Johnson even. Because they're making way too much money for their overalls, in my opinion. If we can get a guy for like two overall less for only 18 million or whatever, like, this is ridiculous. Um, Feligno and Atkinson. Feligno's probably making too much money, but uh, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll do it this way. So that's just for now. We'll see. Um, Brandon Dubinsky is probably making way too much money for four years, but uh, it'll be hard. we got to first figure out how the uh, overalls really play. You know, I might be uh, still skewed. They lowered all the overalls trying to make, you know, better players better. So I could just be skewing myself here thinking they're bad when they're actually decent. And you know what? If you guys already know, let me know. So Maxime Comtois, um, the year was his, his second year. He's already dropped to a low top six. So he used to be a low elite, I believe. Now he's already a top six. That's not a good sign. Jalmerson's available. He's in uh, Arizona right now. I'd actually wouldn't mind picking up Jalmerson. We probably don't need him, though. We already uh, got too many guys on our top four. Or we have exactly four for our top four. So maybe we don't need him. De actually, DeBrusque wouldn't be bad to pick up. Again, we're, we're two years from being good. So, so we kind of want to pick up guys for the future here I think we we might be competitors this year remember uh, or I guess last year Columbus went on what a 12 game winning streak and uh, made it to the playoffs so look at that Nyquist is now an 83 he was a uh, what 87 in the old game 89 something like that so or in last year's uh, Yamamoto Stillman so definitely some of these guys are overalls a little different here Gotta get used to. Um, John Morrison, like I said, John Morrison, not a terrible guy to maybe look at. A couple first rounders, Travis Zajac, I, Dion Fagouf, uh, Bobby Ryan, Derek Broussard, uh, the Terry Filpula. So there's. We might want to move some of our guys with high contracts and lower overalls for some of these other guys. Joe, Jay Bolmeister would be bad. Paul Stastny. He's making 7 mil though, probably don't want him. Leo Komarov, Patrick Marlowe, who's in Toronto now. Okay, so really I'm not seeing anyone who jumps out to me. Derek Waugh, actually, maybe. Oh no, he's uh, 34. 
Washington Capitals. There's your uh, Vegas Golden Knights and the Winnipeg Jets. Brandon Lemieux actually might not be too bad. I like the pictures in this one, so I'll give him that much. Really? Jalmerson? DeBrusque? Um, you know, it kind of depends. I think we're two years out of winning a cup. I think we can compete this year. I don't know if we can win, but I, I feel good. I feel like we could take this team and, uh, uh, off, yes. I feel like we could take this team and definitely compete. Uh, Wenberg, Atkinson, and, uh, Panarin, great setup. I like it. Um, I feel Wenberg can grow. He's probably a second. Oh, he's a first liner. So he's right there where he should be. Panarin is. And then, uh, we'd probably actually even put, uh, Yerma Yager there, to be honest. Then, uh, not bad. We are a little low here in these overalls, but that's how they want the game played. They want these lows. So we'd probably move York Strand up, uh, Calvert down, yes. You know, we probably step forward, other, okay, we'll, we'll take another look at this in the next one, not in this one. But, uh, so, uh... Wierenski and Savard, probably not. We'd probably move... No, no, Seth Jones and Murray are a lefty. That's a great pairing. So if Seth Jones grows, he's moving up there and Savard's coming down. Lefty and a lefty. And you know what's perfect? We picked up... Uh, or we're going to pick up um, Dennis Weidman here. He'll be a righty. Goes right there. Perfect, perfect defensive pairing. No changes needed there. Then finally, goalie Bobrovsky's taking... Uh, the start, and then Jonas Corposalo will be starting probably next year. Ooh, maybe not. When's, when's, Barbara's got two years, so yeah, next year we'll be looking to move him probably at the trade deadline, or you know, uh, Corposalo's not growing and we're not moving him at all. So that's, uh, we're not using, moving Bobrovsky at all. But that's where I'm going to call it. As a brief starter here, uh, hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons. Hit those subscribe buttons. Let me know what you like. Give me those comments. This is for you guys. Um, I, I'm doing this for the... Uh, and I want your uh, your input here. Help me grow this team. We want to win the cup. It's been a while since I've won a cup. We want to win it. Uh, so I need all the help I can get out of you guys. Um, uh, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, uh, take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver. Twitch.tv slash bus driver. And at bus driver on Twitter. All spelled with an L3 US. That's how you spell the bus. You can see that they're up on screen right now. Uh, hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons, hit those subscribe buttons, uh, so you can see when I'm live. Join me in chat. I appreciate when you do. Uh, I stream every weekend I can, and um, that's when they play multiplayer games that you guys can interact with me, and those interactive single-player games. And those streams are for you guys, so join me, chat, hang out, and all that. Uh, make sure you also hit that uh, notify button there, so that way you can... You can... Uh, see when these go live the second they do we've got the madden franchise mode going right now we got this your columbus blue jackets franchise mode going and then next is uh nba's coming out next week we'll be picking up that and we'll be doing a team there so i'll be asking you guys who you think we should be taking for that as well uh but thanks a lot and then we'll see you guys in the next one